Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. This video is growing your eBay inventory. So I started this when I retired at about 62. And I started selling things at the swap meet. My idea was to sell costume or junk jewelry, but it's evolved. And uh, part of it was because it was hard to go to the uh, swap meet. Like, everything knocks your swap meet business out. Like, blazing hot. This was the hottest year ever. Or freezing call rain is the worst. So I started selling on eBay. So today I plan on working, and I bought this clock. I came home, I popped a battery in it, and it's working. I bought this for $14.99. And I'm always going to be able to sell this. This is not a good item, though, for um, um, eBay because you have to mail it. And you have to get it there without breaking the glass. And they're heavy, and they cost a lot to ship. Although I could sell it that way. But most likely I will sell this at the swap meet. So... What I try to do, and this isn't a really good return, not at all, but say I pay $15 for this, I want to get my $15 back and then I want to double my money. So I want to sell this for $45. If it won't sell for $45, I put it on my uh, fireplace. We have a lot of fireplaces now. So basically, I bought this for myself, but it is always possible to sell that. And then these are a couple of small clocks. These aren't really good for eBay either, but they look cute in the house. And you could always sell them, and they're cheap to buy. Okay, so now, so once you get to the point where you can afford like a little bit better inventory, what you want to do is try to move to a $100,000 inventory and then if you have enough energy to post it on uh, eBay, you're going to make some money. So let's, let's talk about $15 items. So I bought this uh, Fossil Purse. This is really nice. And it's got a crossbody strap, strap. So like if you say for value, what is more valuable, this or this? Probably this because this is going to last a long, long time. But this is going to be a lot easier to um, sell, and you can slip these in an envelope. They have envelopes these will fit in, and they're not too expensive. And so I would want to sell this for $45, although I could sell it a little bit cheaper if I want to. And it's going to be pretty. These purses go from around $65 new to like over a hundred, maybe $130, depending on the style. So I have really good luck selling uh, purses. And then I bought this purse. This still has the, this is new. Now this one is used, but this is still a good deal. It, this is a better inventory for eBay than the clock. And uh, this is a nice leather purse, and it's brand new, and it was $144, so I pay $15, so I can get my uh, money out of this purse easily. Um, somebody will buy this. So both of these are good for eBay. Then this week, I bought this purse and for $8. So this purse was like half price with these. This purse is $55 with tags, but the thing about this purse is you can go to um, Marshalls and you can buy one of these purses marked down really cheap, but wine is kind of like really desirable. So if you say which would be the better deal, $8 or $15, actually eight would be better because you don't have that much money into it. And you can slip this in a bag and, you know, but this purse, say if it was $55 new, and say you were going to try to sell it for half price, say uh, $27, that would be a stretch on eBay with this. I could probably get $24.95, though. And then they would have to pay shipping. So you see how that's driving the price of this up? So you have $50 here, and you have $50 on one of these prices one of these $15 items, but this is actually probably for selling on eBay, the best item. 
and then the other thing I bought, this is a, a so you see how my inventory is pretty nice. What I try to do is, all hairdressers do this. This is a Ralph Lauren. I bought this for $3.99. This is not good to ship. And so, you know, you would have to think about selling this, and they're not that valuable. But this is a nice high dollar, I mean, a, a nice luxury item. So in my uh, boutique, you know, all these items are really nice items that somebody might like to uh, have. So let's say if like each week, like I'd say if you're new, the best approach is buy one nice item, say the $8 purse if you're new or, you know, uh, anything. Uh, this is another um, Ralph Lauren shirt. A lot of women really love these. I have had this shirt for five years. I wear them for five, six years. I buy them cheap, like at Marshalls. You can also sell them, though. Uh, sometimes you can find them new in the thrift stores, and you can easily sell them things like that on eBay. So that is just... So you go, oh, $100,000. I could never do that. Well, actually, you can. When you spend a thousand, then you're trying to grow that to three thousand. So you know you can see in time, you know after you're doing it for a while. A lot of these people who do eBay, they put every last cent back into eBay. But I think it's better to live a little better. You know, if you make an extra forty or fifty dollars that week, you know maybe spend eight or ten or fifteen dollars, and you know. Uh, live on the rest. That's why you're selling the stuff. Or if you find, you know, you don't know what you're going to find, but if you find something nice like this, I, I would pick it up if I had the money because this is just a nice item that's nice to have. Okay, you guys, please like, please like, comment. Uh, and if you have any uh, comments as to like inventory that you guys are doing, if you can let us know because a lot of people are going to have to go into self-employment, like it or not. Like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.